Hi, Laura. Hi, Tommy. How are you? Good, thanks for coming. My pleasure. So I take it this is the door you wrote me about? This is it. Yep. It's a big one. Yes, it was built in 1890, yep. uh, and it's huge. Uh, we tried finding a, a screen door to fit, and uh, they don't make them this size. Yeah, you're not going to get one off the shelf, that's for sure. Right, exactly. So we've looked into ordering one custom, and uh, it seemed like it was going to be too expensive. And so then I thought I'd make one myself. Oh, yeah? Because uh, I love doing woodwork. Oh, you um, do? Yeah, I've done a fair share of projects around our house. Oh, that's great. But I don't know how to do joinery. So that's All something. Right. That's why I wrote to you. Well, if you've done some projects, you can build a door and I can help you. We'll take some measurements and we can get started. Great, thanks. All right, Laura, here's the material that we're going to use for your door. This is actually called straight grain fir. The grain's nice and tight, and you can see that it's really straight. And the good thing about this is it's strong, and the door will stay true to itself over time, which is always nice. Good. And we ordered S4S, sanded all four sides. Okay. So dimensionally, the width is right, but we have to cut our lengths. Now, when building a door, I made a little mock-up out of some scrap plywood that I have that you can see here. Our styles and our rails, and our rails go are cut in between, and they're actually held together with mortise and tenon joints. Mm, All right, nice. so there's a mortise in here and a tenon that gives us a lot more glue surface, and that actually lessens the chance of this door twisting over time. Now, I've added one thing here. I've actually added a half lap joint right here. You can see that's going to sit on this shelf. That's called a rabbit. When you put them together like that, this right here gives us a lot more glue surface than if it was just butted together. Oh, so the cool. door will yeah. really stay together. Mm -hmm. And we also create a shelf right here to mount the screen onto. Cool. All right, now we're ready to start cutting the lengths for our uh, rails that are going to go between the two styles. So the first thing I want to do is measure the overall width of the door, which will be 42. I'm going to make it a little bit stronger. I'm going to make it 42 and an eighth. Now, I can't just cut these pieces 30 and an eighth in between here because I have to allow for the half lap that's going to sit on top of that rabbit. This rabbit joint here is going to sit on a rabbit over here, so that would be an inch on each side. All right, we've already squared up one end, so now all you have to do is put them on the saw, keep them tight to the fence, and cut the length. We've set our stop right here so all of our pieces will be exactly the same size. Pull the trigger, push down, go right through it. There you go. All right, there's one, three more to go. I could have cut all my rabbits using a router with a router table, but I'm using a table saw because I want to save the cutoff. There are three different cuts and three different settings that I have to make with my table saw for the blade height and the rip bench width. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up and make all of my cuts on all of the pieces for the first cut, change my settings, make all of my cuts for the second cut, change my settings, and make all of my cuts for the third cut. That saves a lot of time. All right, our door's all laid out. We've marked for all of our mortises on all of our pieces, and we're ready to mortise. So you're going to take the machine, you're going to put it on top, and you're going to push down hard all the way in until it stops. Okay, now slowly take it out. Now move it over to the next spot. Yeah, just be careful you're not picking up this way. So on the inside of this rabbit, we're going to glue up all of this surface and put some glue in the hole. Nice. All right, now dump some down each hole. And now I want to get my tenants in the glue in the hole. So we'll drive them down. I'll put one all the way down, one a little, and one up like that. So now, when we put it in the hole, it's easier to line up one, then the other, and then the other. Slide it down. Okay. Now we're ready for the next one. Go ahead. And now we just push 
pushed down. Okay, let's get another one. And just try to get the top ones and then we'll slide it down as we make sure that they're in the right holes. And gently go down, make sure we get them all started. Spin that one around a little bit. Got it. Now we clamp this up. With the styles and rails glued together, we can cut off the excess with a track saw. All right, our door is almost built. We have a couple of little things to put in. You you ordered these brackets? I did. I picked these up. I thought they would look nice on a Victorian door. It'll really dress it up. All right, so what we'll do is we'll screw these in. That way, if you ever have to remove them when you paint the door, it'll be a lot easier to paint the backside. We drill that hole. Perfect. All right, so we've got our brackets on and now we're ready to install the screen. Now we can staple the screen at the top and then you could pull some tension on it and then I could staple it. But what I like to do is put a little bit of tension on the door, bowing it slightly. So when you put tension on it and I staple it, that'll put more tension on the screen when I release the tension on the door. Oh, okay. All right, so we pick it up and just put a little filler under here. We'll go halfway down the door and clamp the door, bringing it down, bowing it down slightly. All right, we don't need a lot, so just bring it right down, nice and tight. Now we'll take our screening wire. I'm gonna pull it just a little bit from you. I'm gonna put a staple in it here. And now pull it just a little. Now we're gonna unroll the screen all the way to the end of the door. And I want you to grab it now and just grab a little tent. Put your hands a little bit closer together. Yeah. Okay. So I wanna try to straighten this out or flatten it out. So put some tension in the middle. That looks good. You got it there? Yep. Very nice. Great. All right, now we'll just cut away the excess. Nice, very nice. All right. All right, so now for the bottom two sections, we, we don't need to bow the door. We can actually put just put tension on it. And I want you to pull a little tension on it, like right in the middle there. Okay, just hold it there. I'm gonna, not too tight now. A little bit more. Make sure it's flat, yep. Yeah. This one, just a little. All right, that's perfect. Our screening wire is in. Now remember those cutoffs that we took out of the rabbit and we saved them? Yes. We mitered the ends and they fit right in there and they hide all of the staples. That's perfect. Down there. All right, Laura, here's your door. Now I oversized the door a little bit, both width and height because it's an old house and you don't know if it's settled just a little bit and if the, if the opening is racked at all. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna take and put it up 
and I'm going to put it tight to the opening on this side, and then I can fit it. When I fit it, I'm going to mock a little bit to take cut some off of that side, or maybe a little bit off of this side. Once it's fit that way, then I put it back into the opening and cut it off the bottom and the top so it fits to that if there's any angle. Okay. All right, what do you think? I love it. All right, let's make it fit. And we tip the saw about three or four degrees, so when you rip the door down, it'll be beveled, and that inside edge won't hit the casing as it closes. Now we're ready for the hardware. And old screen doors had pretty simple hardware. So you want to use a knob like this that you've saved from an old door, which is really going to be nice, but we're not going to use a latch. And the hinges on the doors were usually surface mounted. They were pretty lightweight because the doors were pretty lightweight. But this is a big door, it's heavy, so I want to use some more surface mounted hardware, but I want to use a heavy duty one. We're going to install the compressor. The compressor is going to allow the door to close slowly, but it's also going to hold the door shut because we don't have a latch. All right, Laura, there's your new screen door. What do you think? Wow, I love it. It's exactly what we wanted. Well, that's good. And that soft close, closing the door, hopefully your kids won't pinch their fingers. Great. I love just knowing what's inside of it. It helps me appreciate all the hard work that goes into it. Well, all those little things inside there is what's going to hold this door together and it'll last a long time. Great. Thank you so much, Tommy. My pleasure and thanks for all your help. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.